it clearly Lee Grant's new job? Yeah, to chat on talk to sport. Give uh, all the juicy gossip <laughs> about players' diets. <laughs> <laughs> it's joke, man. But Ronaldo, man, listen, yeah. See, Ronaldo, yeah. When are we going to learn that this guy is a psycho, bro? He's not a normal person. Like, you see, when, when he signed for Man United, everyone's like, oh, he's 37. He's fir-. His 37 is not a normal person's 37. Like, it's not normal for a footballer. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't think he eats... He ain't been KFC, bro. Like, do you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, his thing is different. It's different. Like, leave him alone. Like, 37 years of age, he's managed to prolong his career because he, he knows what his currency is. His currency is goals. If he didn't change his position and turn into this fox in a box, because remember how he first came, that like, he didn't have any of these traits that he has now. So if he um, stuck to play in the wing, even him being how he is, the way he trains, the way he eats, everything, but if he stayed a winger, he wouldn't be playing at the highest level. He could still be playing. He might still be in the top league somewhere. But at the highest level, he's found out, if I can just score goals, he'll play on, man. He'll play till he's 40. I believe that now. Do you get what I'm saying? He's just not going to stop. Like He's going to be like, when, <laughs> when his son's like 18, he'll be like 42, like having races with his son and wetting him up. Like. That's the type of player he is, man. Different, different gravy, different gravy. Man, Bruno, what a goal, Bruno. What a goal. Like, he kicked that with the side of his foot, bro. Yeah. Like, it was a side foot. And it just... <laughs> oh, my word. And then Jesse Lingard come true. What was it? What was this thing? Was... Yeah, Is it that? No I don't know, man. It's a J and it's an L. That's all <laughs> I know. Bit burst. But, yeah, man. Yeah. yeah. Same thing with Pogba. Even if, he is, even if he plans to sign for Man United, if Paul Pogba plans to sign for Man United now, why would he sign right now? If in just be, if in January he's allowed to get offers, so imagine how much PSG and Real Madrid is going to offer Paul Pogba a free transfer. Do you know what I'm saying? You're getting Paul Pogba and you don't have to pay a penny. So they're gonna. It's looking like 500 racks a week. So then he gets to say, Man United, look, they're offering me this. If I stay, can you do this? Do you get what I'm saying? So why would he sign now? I think it's just he will stay. I think he will want to stay. If they yeah, imagine, it doesn't if they make no them. sense for him to leave now. Yeah. Everything that he's um, wanted to achieve, it looks like it's, it's taken way too long, but it looks like it's finally, he's finally in his best position to do his thing coming into the prime of his career. It doesn't look like him going to Real Madrid, he's going to a better team. The guys that you wanted to play for are now here. <laughs> you wanted to play with Varane, you wanted to play with Ronaldo, like... What are you doing? You're going to go there to buck Vinicius and <laughs> Nacho and them, man. Harry Kane, yeah? His agent is his brother and his agent brother has no other clients but Harry Kane. And he, have you seen the picture? He goes into the office with his suit every day, sits there and he's just Harry Kane. <laughs> and he's got murals and pictures everywhere, Kane signed T-shirt. And he's, people this Mino Raiola, yeah? Brother, that's why all the top players go for Mino Raiola. They choose him because Harry Kane will not be at Tottenham right now. Just a fact of now. Chelsea 3, Aston Villa 0. Yeah, man. The scoreline suggests that Chelsea packed them, but I don't think so. From the bits that I watched, boy, Aston Villa was cooking. They was cooking. They created a lot of chances. There's just that extra little bit of quality where Chelsea just separated themselves. Chelsea have... The best black keeper of all time, that Edward Mendy, he's the best black goalkeeper there has ever been. Yeah, hundred percent. And then, nah, man, move. <laughs> Mandanda, listen, this Mendy guy, brother, he's mad. He's absolutely mad. <laughs> nah, what Skepta? Get out, man. Get out. Nah, nah. This Mendy is the truth, the best. I'm just gonna put it out there. The best black goalie of all time. But anyway, yeah, man, Romelu Lukaku, bits of quality finishing, clinical striker, man, clinical. Um, oh, brother, he cooked him. Oh, he cooked him. What was that? What are you doing, man? You still got a contract at Man U. You're supposed to be badding up these guys. But, um, 
Yeah, like I always say with Chelsea, man, you have to match them up. Aston Villa played a back three system, 3-5-2, three, I feel. You have to match them up. That 4-3-3 three, three thing, 4-2-3-1 against Chelsea, it's not going to work. they got all of these overloads on you. Stop it. Match them up. Aston Villa did their thing. They just didn't have the quality. A team with better strikers would do their thing, man. Saul. I don't know. <laughs> I just kept seeing his name. Like, every chance... I saw Villa create. The guy's just passing it to them. I don't, I don't, he's literally just passing it to John McGinn. John McGinn slapping his head and taking a ball off him. It's like, ooh, man. Ooh, man. I don't know, man. All his compilations are from like 2014. Yeah, he was sick a few seasons ago. Then he, then he went but you know how every pro player has a compilation of this season or last season? You barely played like, last season, though. I heard he was playing left back. Wow. So. I don't know what I'm going for there. Man City. <laughs> oh, I don't know. I didn't even watch that. You watched that. I I, was that even on TV? I don't even know. But I feel yeah, like... Yeah. yeah, that's not TV. Yeah. But I feel like no one cares about City. <laughs> they've just become... They've always not really been that relevant, but they've been the best team. So they've been... They've pushed themselves up there. But now, like, other teams Boy. are doing bits. Do you know what I'm saying? United bought Ronaldo. Boy, like... not. They've got the most expensive player in the whole league. Like, Jack Grealish. Like, he's supposed to be the star. He's supposed to be the biggest move. The thing everyone's talking about. Since Ronaldo's gone United, like... Oh, City's just there. They don't even have a striker and no one cares. How do you have a whole team with no striker? Jack Grealish does the same thing. Yeah. <laughs> run that <season>. clip. <laughs> We're going to run that clip. <laughs> you got to run that clip. I said... This is what Jack Grealish does. The person put that guy's TikTok or whatever, the person that does it, yeah, you're a G. <laughs> this is Jack Grealish. <laughs> so, yeah, Arsenal got their first victory of the season. First goal. 1 0. Yeah, first goal, first everything. 1 0 win against Norwich. A bit mad. But, um,. Don't know, man. I don't know if Arsenal fans are happy yet. I don't know. You tell me. Is the pressure off Arteta? Is there? Is he good? Is he buys him some more time? You get me? Because if he lost to Norwich, nah. if he lost to Norwich, that would have been peak. And now I saw an interview of him. He was just like, "Yeah, this is the best 14 days I've ever had of my career." I'm like, huh? Oh? Your best ever 14 days that you've had preparing for a match ended in a 1-0 win against Norwich. Like, you know how every team is good in the Premiership? There's meant to be no easy games about Norwich. Like, And if you even saw the goal, <laughs> the best 14 days. I don't know, man. You shouldn't have said that, car. Yeah, man. They, they actually think Arsenal fans are dumb. Yeah, they're mocking it. Like, yeah, mocking. Man, you, man, you don't take the piss, but these, these lot. I can't. I said I can't believe that this is not on purpose. You can't buy these players. You can't buy a, a Japanese right back and then say that he's not a right back or a centre back. <laughs> His name Tiramisu. They call him Tiramisu. I don't know what his actual name is. Yeah, but like I don't know. He looked alright though. A little yeah. bit I seen he actually yeah, looked good. Yeah. But apparently his agent just offered him to everyone in the prem and Arsenal said, Yeah, we'll take him. See that Edu interview. Why did he do that? <laughs> what compelled him to do that? Yeah, he's got bad advisors. He thought he was doing something good to save him. Wants to see them all play together, young players, but what does young mean? Like, all these players that they slew, Mustafi, Shaka, all of these guys were once young players. Just because they're young and they're professional don't mean that, yeah, that's it, we got young players, so it's all right, we're going to be good one day. Like, these men that you want to sell didn't end up good. So, focus on good players and improving the team that you have, surely. I don't know, that's just me. Bro. But then they're also destroying the young players. I think they sack of stats. It's like one goal, zero assists in the last 18. Yeah, well, Saka's not really a goals man yeah. like that. Yeah, but they have to be. Nah, you play for Arsenal, you play Saka don't goals, score goals, bro. He creates. He's more like a facilitator. Like, he's then not... they've got more creators. All the guys. Then they've got mm. Smith bro. They're all becoming creators. Even mm. Aubameyang is like a left winger now. Yeah, nah. Liverpool leads. What was that? 3-0? Yeah. Boy. Boy. Harvey Elliott, man. One time for Harvey Elliott. That's bad. 
I can't lie, I got an injury. A little bit like that at the start of the year. Boy, that's not nice. That's not nice. Um, just got his big break. As in, he's playing every game for Liverpool. It's like 18 or something. Then that happens, man. It's tough. But, you know, these pro bowlers, they've got state-of-the-art facilities. They've got second to none in, in care and aftercare. Like, I did my ankle in February and I'm still doing physio once a month. Do you get what I'm saying? I've got screws in my foot that's never going to come out. He, whatever operation he has, it will be done for his long-term benefit and he'll have all the best care. So I reckon he'll be back. Did he break it? I don't, brother. Did you not see his foot? I saw his foot, but then his, brother, the fact that he was able to clap and clap. Add your money, though, man. That's exactly what I was thinking. Yo, 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 what's going on there? Like, he might be he, finished. What? How old do you reckon he is, though? Do you reckon he's <laughs> I don't know, like, remember he had that hairline, he copped a new hairline, like, I don't know, it's like, sometimes these players, they start expiring when they're 27, like, do you know what I'm saying, they start looking 34 all of a sudden, but no, all fun, all um, jokes aside, um, I don't know, he's just having a bad run of form, he's still getting a lot of chances, a lot of the time, he's seen, yeah, eventually, he just seems like he's snatching at his chances and just overthinking it, but we got Mo Salah, 100 goals. Can't go wrong, man. How long has he been there? Four years? Five years? 100, 100 Prem goals, I think. Not even oh, just geez. not even just goals. 100 Prem goals. Raw. Got to big him up. Got to big him up, man. Liverpool got to tie him down. I heard he wants, he wants to get Ronaldo's wages at Liverpool. So, good luck with that. All right. If you watch it, yeah. Lewis Hamilton, yeah, is coming out of this pit stop, yeah. Watch when a car comes out of the pit stop, yeah. That's Lewis Hamilton. Has a car come out yet? So a car, and then the other car is the other guy. Watch what happens, bro. That's attempted murder. Now, you ain't even seen the rest of the thing. No, he does. He gets out of the thing and walks off. Yeah, he just bops off. I'm not a Formula One guy. Someone showed me that, but I heard that he don't like Lewis Hamilton. Like he's mad jealous of him and all of these things. Like, he done him like that and walked off, bro. You don't know if he's alive. Oh, like... And the commentators all shouting like it's wrestling, like... <laughs> yeah. that, but that man could be dead in there, man. I don't... I don't... Bro. You didn't see they were going that fast. Huh? I didn't think they were going that fast. They're always going fast. It's you Formula know, One, bro. You know they slow down for the bend. How much do you slow down if you're doing 100 well, miles an hour? on purpose. Brother, he, that is crazy. That guy should be in jail. That's crazy. That's not even, it's not football, like, when you give man a bad tackle. That's, That's I don't, crazy, to be honest, I don't know how you don't hear about deaths in that thing. Because they all go the same way, haven't they? There's less life. I don't know. I think, I heard know. some, the guy that showed me, um, showed, told me that he, uh, they're wearing some sort of thing called a halo. Mm. Van der Holyfield is 58, bro. 58 years old round bro one round and that's it a big legend like evander holyfield you get me undisputed cruiserweight champion undisputed heavyweight champion mashed up bear legends one of the best cvs there is man was boxing bro man was boxing from the early 80s to the late 90s and 2000 you're getting banged in your face for 20 years and you're making man box at 58 brother nah man he should be commentating. He shouldn't be in the ring, bro. That's a violation. You get what I'm saying? The industry should be looking after them. Nah, man. That, that, that's wrong. Like, Triller, it's Triller that sanctioned these fights. Oh, bro. Nah, man. That's wrong. You get me? And when man gets really, really hurt, then you'll see what happens. But nah, man. They got Riddick Bowl fighting Lamar Odom. Have you seen that? That basketball guy that used to be married oh, to Kardashian that head. turned into a crackhead. He's a, he's a boxer. Man's box. No, they're just boxing people, brother. <laughs> what? Was, he fought Aaron, some oh, some guy called what's it? Aaron Carter. Some little kid. He used to be. He was like a celebrity little kid. He looked like the Home Alone kid, basically. Yeah. Was boxing his Lamar Odom basketball. <laughs> <laughs> Like, he not, it's a joke thing. They're wearing headgear. He knocked him out with a jab, bro. He knocked him. <laughs> it's so dumb that like, these thriller fights, the YouTube fights, I hear it. Jake Paul, I respect him. He's a real boxer now, bro. Jake Paul, serious. 
But all these other things, like, oh, come on, man. This guy that beat Evander Holyfield, I don't even want to say beat because that was pathetic. His last fight was against some sort of reggaeton rapper, bro. Like, <laughs> do you know what I'm saying? It's just random people saying, let's fight. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, it's not... It's not real, bruv. Do you know what I'm saying? It's not real. And he's celebrating like, yeah, like he just done something. He beat Evander Holyfield. Man's 58. He can't even string a sentence together, bruv. They put out a video before of him like working, like hitting the pads. Brother. No. Oh my days. He looked like Joe Joyce on shrooms, bruv. Like he was slow. Like he looks like he was burst. And you're putting him in the ring to fight. Allow me, man. Speaking of fights, Bouncer or Arms Coolio? <laughs> Use your money on, bro. I have no, honestly, I have no idea. <laughs> bro? I would, I, I would just say Arms because of physical... Nah, uh, big I man. He got he... set up. Arms got jerked. He's going to get mashed up. Bouncer's got him. It's an MMA fight. Apparently, like, Bouncer's been doing MMA training. He's been he's been an MMA guy before. I think he's even had a pro MMA fight, I've heard, I think. Mm. And Arms ain't never done this before. He's just wham. Do you know what I'm saying? He's been set up. It's bad, bro. It's bad. But I heard they're going to make a lot of money for themselves. I hope um, no one turns into a meme. Because if man get done bad in there, it's... Yeah, the memes. The memes are going to pop off anyway for them. Regardless. Just them standing there. But hope no one embarrassed not even embarrassed but no one goes out too sad you get me to chat and 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 out like and subscribe chat and fc we're back done no